I, I, I know exactly how that feels, right? So it's not like a, that's something that you feel uh, inherently, truly, something wrong, some, some there, some, what somebody did, somebody says, like uh, not ethical, not lawful, um, whatever where people think about is evil, whatever, you know, if there's something there that you feel like uh, you see that something is it, not acceptable, right? That makes sense? We all have that, right? And um, then in all, when, when, when you have those things, it's hard to say it's pure energy. It's hard to say it's just a manifestation. It's hard to say not judge, not follow, not act. Right? That makes sense? Uh, so behavior, this is we are talking about the behavior. Um, so uh, this is where we're talking is behavior. And what is one of the in, encouragement here is saying the idea of live it as it is. And, uh, and we in our everyday life, it's, it's not exactly work like that. There are certain things we cannot live it, live it as it is. If, if the house is burning and the child is burning in a house, you cannot leave it as it is. You have to take action. Uh, so so there's, there are many things like that. We cannot just leave it, leave it as it is. At least we feel that way, right? So, so let's say this way, that there are many things that you really, really feel that you cannot leave it at, as it is. You need to take action. So take action, what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. Take action. But maybe there are many things that, example of, uh, your example of, uh, the comment on Muslims and so on. Um, yeah, even the Pope. Uh, uh, I don't know if you have seen. There's a message shared that uh, was going around, um, and I've also uh, shared that in my Facebook page. That it was making basically a comment about you know like what you know labeling every Muslims in and and as a terrorist. It's not correct. Um, he was giving an example of there are so many Italians. You see every day in the news how many Italian, how many Christians doing the same thing. You don't say Christians doing things. So it's just the same thing like that. So and the bottom line <coughs> is that it comes down to our own situation in a real life situation and some sense of... Real, some sense of understanding of these teaching, how to apply in a real, their real life. So, so what I'm saying here in that in that context is that you know, there are some things that you feel like you have to take action. Take action. There are some things that, uh, in my experience, personal experience is, uh, of course, there are some things that I truly feel like I have to take action. I take action. But there are, there are much, 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 much more things that I do feel I need to take action. But I I know. I know over the years I've learned it's not true. I don't have to take action. So I have to, I have to find enough space in me to, to realize, uh, to able to give space, able to give awareness, able to reflect a little bit better, really trying to see, do I need to take action? Because if, when, when you look, uh, when you, you give a little space to yourself and you say, do I need to take action? What will the action will be? Okay, I need to write email. Then you look at your email, not interesting. You know, right? It's just really careful with the send button. It's a da very dangerous button. One of the most dangerous buttons on a keyboard is the send. And uh, when you send something which you're not aware of what you're sending, when you send something that you don't know who you're sending to, where you're sending, when you have not looked carefully at what you're sending, it's dangerous. So write, but don't send. Right? So then when you look at it carefully, you see. The more space you feel, more you see it's not right. More space you feel, more you see it's not right. So by giving more space and more time, you realize what was wrong. 
And then you are so grateful that you did not send afterward. So, so you have protected yourself. You have protected somebody. You have protected, maybe it's a group. Maybe you have protected whole country. Depends on what position, level of position in, 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 in you are in. You, are, you have protected many situations by not taking action, giving space. So those things, I think it's really, really important that um, nowadays, especially, it's very dangerous. You know, very dangerous. I mean, people, you know, in, in the news, people, they have been saying about Donald Trump, about tweeting, Twitter, right? I mean, you just don't express your instant emotion in that position. Every single word you say means a lot for many people. You shake up, you're shaking everybody. You have to have some space to hold. You have to have some sacred space to hold them, contain them. It's very dangerous, very, very dangerous. The higher position you are, the more dangerous it is. So, it, so not immediately taking action, leaving it as, as it is, I think it does have so much place in our life. What, that's what I'm trying to say. It has so much place in life. The more you witness that, the more you realize how powerful this message is. And also, uh, it. I mean, there are, there are few interests to doing that. Uh, maybe from greater interest, more, more, more in, superior interest, or maybe more um, inferior interest. Inferior interest is just to protect yourself. That's good enough. You will protect yourself. You will protect somebody. You will protect the group. You will protect the country. But the greater interest will be you're expanding the awareness of space. Usually people don't think. People always think about if people are interested in this message, they'll think they're interested in this message in a sense of protecting, not creating a mess. But they don't think about there is something more than that. It's where you are expanding the space of awareness. That's more important in a way. That's more important, that has more value, that naturally protects. But the intention of protecting not natu natu naturally, you are learning to expand the space. But we always say open, boundlessness, dissolving boundary. This is what we are talking. 